What we are going to be looking at today is we are going to be looking at mixed numbers and improper fractions. So those are going to be kind of our two big words that we're dealing with, mixed numbers and improper fractions. So I'm going to look at this first fraction. And it's actually, it's not just a fraction. It has that whole number sitting next to it. So we call it a mixed number. Can anybody take a guess as to why we call it a mixed number? What do you think? Um, because we might call it a mixed number because of how we mix in a fraction and a whole number with it. That's perfect. We call it a mixed number because it's mixed. It's not just a fraction. It's not just a whole number. They're both together. So as I kind of think about how I would draw that, I have one whole here, and I've broken that into fourths. So I would think, okay, so that's going to be four fourths. Let me switch markers. Four fourths. Now on our next rectangle, not all four parts are shaded. We only have three fourths, three out of those four that are shaded. So that would be the three out of four. When we're putting that together, we have seven fourths, because we have the four here and the three here. So we have seven fourths that have been shaded. Does anybody know what kind of fraction we call seven fourths? Kayla? An improper fraction. An improper fraction. Why is it an improper fraction? Because the numerator is higher than the denominator. Yes, very good, because my numerator is higher than my denominator. So now when I come down here and I think about my process that I'm going through to change my mixed number into my improper fraction, we're doing our, we take our whole number, times our um, denominator, so that's four times one, which is four, represented by my four pieces. Then we ha add that to our numerator, which is seven, and so we get the numerator for my improper fraction. Now, on this one, we have two, uh, we have two holes, because we have two as our whole number. So we have two bars that have been divided into six, so that's six, six, and six, six, with the one extra, just one of those six left over for, to represent my two and one, six. So we have six fraction bars and six, which gives us 12. 12 and one gives us 13. Thirteen one, six bars, which tells me that two and one, six is the same as what improper fraction then? If I have 13 1 6 bars, how could I say that as an improper fraction? Okay, let's look back at, at our, my previous example. I had 7 1 4 pieces, and so we called it 7 fourths. So here, when I have 13 1 6 pieces, what would we call what improper fraction, Mally? 13 6. 13 6. My numerator is the 13 because of the 13 1 6 pieces. My denominator stays the same as it was in my um, mixed number.